The Bekaa Valley is the poorest part of Lebanon. Wages are low, prices are high, unemployment is rife. These people have their own problems, but when Syrians from nearby Damascus and Homs began arriving, they shared what little they had. This mosque near Arsal now hosts 33 families in tents. In March, when rockets destroyed our house, Rima fled Homs, crossing the border on foot with her five children. We heard gunshots and bombs exploding, so we started running as fast as we could. I was afraid for the children. A Lebanese family is letting them stay in an uncompleted house. It's a Spartan existence, more of a construction site than a home, but it's safe and they have a roof over their heads. The trauma and fear of their escape and an uprooted life is not easy to forget, especially for children. Eight-year-old Fatima misses her school and her friends back home. Syrians escaping Homs have to cross these hills in the middle of the night, sometimes on foot and carrying only a few belongings. But when they get here to Lebanon, there's not much they can do because the economy here is suffering as well. So the World Food Program has a plan to help everybody. With only the clothes on their backs, Fatima and her four children escaped from Homs in February. Today, a volunteer gives her a lift to go shopping. Every month, she receives a voucher from WFP, allowing her to buy food in local shops. It's an innovative system, especially designed for situations like these, where food is available in markets, but too expensive. It also allows them to buy a variety of food, like fresh produce, meat, eggs, and milk. In Lebanon, almost 30,000 refugees will receive vouchers in July, turning what could be a burden into a boost for the local economy. WFP is preparing to help 850,000 in Syria itself and up to 120,000 refugees outside. As Lebanon struggles to avoid being pulled into the violence in Syria, a family meal may not seem like much. But in this troubled region, a little comfort and stability goes a long way.